After Michael Gableman's combative court appearance last week, a Dane County judge is now holding him in contempt and adding an additional $2,000 per day, $2,000 per day to the price tag of the nearly million dollar investigation into 2020's election. Political reporter Will Keneally breaks down what that means next for the investigation. Will? So this all stems from an open record suit to have Gableman turn over documents in his investigation, which the court has ruled he has failed to do. But from one political scientist's perspective, this week's contempt charge may have broader political implications. I do think that this latest incident, this latest episode, will harm the public image. UW lacrosse political science professor Anthony Trigoski says while last week's display may erode the public image of the investigation, it could have other benefits. This investigation has been unusual because the chief investigator has, the special counsel, has been overwhelmingly communicating with a specific ideological audience. Gableman had a notable outburst in court last week, which Trigoski says could actually encourage a far-right base of conservatives. Robin Voss probably envisioned this investigation as a relatively short endeavor, but now this investigation really has taken on a life of its own as Gableman has cultivated a following among conservative activists. During his outburst, Gableman criticized the judge in the case for being a liberal activist. You don't have a right to act as an advocate for one party over the other. In his contempt ruling this week, Judge Frank Remington said that that was fundamentally out of line with the usual decorum of the court. He said, quote, Gableman chose to raise his voice, point his finger, and accuse the judge of bias. This strategy may work elsewhere, but it has no place in a courtroom. Aside from the $2,000 daily fine Gableman will face for not turning over the docs, Remington forwarded Gableman for possible sanction from the Office of Lawyer Regulation. Any in the conservative activist base are going to like what they see from this hearing because it shows that Gableman is a fighter. It shows that he's willing to stand up. But who ends up paying for the $2,000 per day fine? The judge's order distinguishes between Gableman himself and the assembly office he works for. And that fine is against the assembly office. We reached out to Speaker Robin Voss's office to confirm who will pay the fine, but we have not heard back.